Hello, everybody. I'm Gloria Copeland. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. It's the voice of prosperity this week, and you're going to like it. Pastor George is here, and he's telling us from the Bible, we have it in black and white, how to prosper in tough times. Hallelujah. That's what we're Glory doing, Gloria. To God. That's what and we're doing. And it is good. So you don't want to miss <laughs> any of the broadcasts. And, uh, you know, get it, make notes. You know, the thing, thing that I really enjoy about working with you on these broadcasts is hearing some of the quotes, your gloriasms. <laughs> and uh, in the, the last My broadcast, gloriousness. we just, you were doing the close of the last broadcast and I wrote down something that you said, if you're going to live in the supernatural, you're going to have to learn how. That is the truth. I agree with her. <laughs> I agree with her. That's right. I like that. And that's what we're doing. We're renewing our minds to what is ours because God wants us to think on a higher plane. That's right. That's he exactly wants right. to think on an Adamic plane. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's... Okay. That's the doctor of prosperity speaking. I see. <clears throat> he wants us to think like Adam thought. He wants us to really have the mind of Christ to see his provision. God wants to supply. He wants to be the source Certainly. of all it's of our needs. It's his idea. We just it's, are getting in agreement with him. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. He said to Isaiah, in, uh, he said in Isaiah 119, if you be willing, yep. if you're willing to, yes, I'm if willing. you're obedient, yep. willing and obedient, yep. you shall eat the good of the land. That's what he told Israel. So if they wanted to eat the good of the land, they, they were, were going to have to be obedient. willing and obedient. That's right. If they were going to be willing and obedient, they were going to have to hear, listen yep. to what he said and do yep. it. And yep. that's the same thing with us. That's I mean, exactly the prosperity same thing. is not natural. And even if, if the rich prosper, they don't have the joy, they don't have the peace right. that goes with that's it. That's right. Uh, and they don't have <laughs> salvation. They don't have going to heaven when they die if they haven't made Jesus the Lord of their lives. So what good is life if you think, I might die next year and I'm going to hell? I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's not a good life. Exactly. But thank exactly. God for Jesus. You can, you can be wealthy and walk in the peace of God. That's right. You can. That's you God's that design. You that's can have every doing. need supplied, even through the toughest of times, mm -hmm. that's right. whether it is a general economic downturn mm -hmm. or it's something that's going on personally in our lives, um, <clears throat> Jesus will turn that around. If we, if we apply the principles of the Word of God, if we stand on the Word, if we cling to the Word, speak the Word, speak the word and, and make that declaration of what is ours in Christ Jesus, then we will supersede what the world is doing. We are of the kingdom of God That's on right. earth. We That's operate right. under the kingdom of God on earth. That's right. And in the operation of that kingdom, we, we really do walk in a place of divine prosperity in the middle of a famine, in the middle of a downturn, in the middle, and it's the same thing with protection, to be in the middle of a situation somewhere. Like for instance, we have so many people that are watching that have relatives, sons, daughters, nephews, nieces, brothers, sisters who are in the military. Yeah. And they're deployed in different parts of the world. Hot spots, we call them, in different parts of the world. And we just need to know how to live in a place of supernatural protection exactly right. in the midst of all that's going on that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Amen. This is those was one of the scriptures that, that I learned when I first came into this ministry. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against That's us, a, we condemn. You, yes, I depend on that. We have to learn how to live as kingdom dwellers, establishing the Garden of Eden yeah. wherever we go, that we, whatever we touch flourishes. Whatever we get around, it just lifts it up. Whenever we walk into a crowd, protection walks That's into that exactly crowd. That's exactly right. We have to believe the blessing and receive the blessing. Yes. Talk the blessing. Yes. And walk yes. the blessing. And we prosper <laughs> in every situation, in every phase of the, the economy, wow. we prosper. Now, we've been doing this for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't have started. Well, you could have been more in debt than we were, I guess. You could have been maybe more in debt. But when we started, we had nothing. We were in debt. We didn't know anything. Right, 
Right. But then we got on these, this word of God and began to learn about the kingdom of God and how to live in yes. it, how to receive yes. by faith. And everything changed. Everything changed. In 11 months, we were out of debt. Now I'm talking about, I'm talking about we weren't out preaching big meetings or we, yeah. you know, nobody knew who we were, nobody cared, but it worked. It worked. We believed God. And there was a decision debt. that you and Kenneth made yeah, when we you saw Romans 13, 8. One of the key things to getting out of debt mm -hmm. is quit borrowing money. money. <laughs> That'll do it. That's a big deal. That will do it. And Hallelujah. what you and Kenneth thought during that time was, how are we ever going to have anything? Oh, we, we how can we get an car, airplane? We needed car. a house, groceries. We had to believe God for everything. I didn't even have a refrigerator at, one of, at the point where we started here in Tulsa. Wow. And uh, wow. I put my food out. Well, and when we lived in Little Rock, I put food out in a cardboard box because it was cold out there, you know. <laughs> I My mean, goodness. But God. But God. We gave him a place to work. But God. And he worked. He worked. He will always do it. He's faithful. Yeah. Praise yep. the Lord. Well, you made Lord. that decision for debt freedom. And yeah. supernaturally, you came out of debt in 11 months. You can come out yeah. of debt supernaturally. If you would believe God, if you learn how to walk in the supernatural, and we which that's have, what we're talking about here. We weren't sitting, sitting <clears throat> under anybody that taught that. We didn't, hear, hadn't heard it taught. That's right. We just saw the scripture says, stay out of debt. And we had already determined that we had to walk and do what the word said. Yes. So we bid yes. it off, not, we, we, it was like, who, who, which was it, Jacob, Isaac? One of them, it says he went to a land unsown. Well, <laughs> this is what we did. We yeah, went into did. a land unsown. Yeah, you sure did. But it worked oh, because wow. it was the Word of God. Oh, I'm so grateful. Praise God. And instead of thinking, you know, <clears throat> till you know something, you might think, well, if I do that, I'll never have anything. I'll never have a home. I'll yeah. never have a good car. Yeah. I won't have anything. No, you'll have everything if you get on God's system. That's right. Because you're not subject to the to the natural realm out here. Glory we can, to God. We can live in the realm of the supernatural right. right in the, right in the middle can. of the natural. We surely can. And we can apply the principles of the Word of God and we can see harvest come to us. Mm -hmm. We can see supernatural uh, 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 debt cancellation in our lives. We can see supernatural provision where we thought we'd never have oh, supernatural my. provision I'm before. Thinking, I mean, God I'm is thinking, wanting to maybe supply. Maybe you can tell me, I, I'm thinking now about our situation because mm -hmm. we started with nothing. Uh, and then we, when we did get moving, the Lord told us to go on television. Right. And right. we still didn't have any extra money, but the Lord helped us. Yes, He did. And so there's been like, I don't know, uh, 40, so, I think it's, don't quote me on this, but I think it's, we have spent like $40 million on television. Mm -hmm. Time, buying yep. time, broadcasting <clears throat> and right. all that. Right. That was some time right. ago. Right. So think about that, George, what a miracle that is. And no debt. And, and no lack. No we lack. No lack. No lack. And no debt. You didn't borrow. The decision the that you made in 1967 That's right. on Romans 13, 8 actually carried over into the ministry That's right. to not borrow money. That's right. And uh, millions of dollars of interest has been, has been utilized. Somebody figured out if we'd have borrowed money <clears throat> on television time and and buildings and all that, seemed like the interest would have been around $40 million. It was, it was multiple Isn't millions that amazing, of dollars, though? Gloria. If you just do what God <laughs> says, how smart He is. Obedience is the key. That's right. Obedience is the key. And that's, that's the thing we're talking about here with Isaac. And let's just read this. In, I, in uh, chapter 26 of Genesis. I get excited. There, I do too. There was a famine in the land, verse one, and beside the first famine, uh, that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, the king of the Philistines under Gerar. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, go not down, don't go to Egypt. Dwell in the land, which I will tell you of. Sojourn in the land and I will be with you. I will bless you. And for unto you and for unto your seed, I will give you all these countries and I will perform the oath. I will, I will. I will, I will, I will. Verse four, it says, and I will make thy seed, I'm over here in Genesis 26. I will make thy seed multiply as the stars of the heaven and give unto your seed all these countries and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because that Abraham obeyed my yeah, voice yeah, to yeah. keep my charge, my commandments, my statutes and my laws. And it says in verse six, and Isaac dwelt in Gerar. He didn't go to Egypt. 
He did not go to Egypt. The key to prospering in these times is obedience. That's right. It's obedience. They, the, God did all that. He did everything because, yeah. verse 5, Abraham obeyed, obeyed my voice and kept my yeah. charge. That's it. So if we obey, now we've walked this way for a long time, not just in finances, but healing and everything else. Right. If we obey, yes. we'll receive. Yes. We'll walk in the blessing, healing, prosperity, peace, all the good if stuff we obey. that's under the blessing. Exactly. If we'll obey. Exactly. And we decided back in 1967 <clears throat> to obey. And we hadn't, you know, we hadn't walked anything out, but we just said, well, whatever it is, that's we're right. going to do it. We're going to do what God says. And we've prospered. And obviously Ever that's what Isaac did. He made a decision. He was going to leave. He was going to go someplace else. And yeah. God said, stay right here. He, he, he made that decision. And look at verse 12. Let's look at the result of that decision. Isaac sowed in that land yeah. and received in the same year, the year of what? The year of that famine, a hundredfold. So see the circumstances don't have anything to do with that's us. That's it. That's that's it. You got it right there. The natural the, circum the natural circumstances has nothing to do with the operation of the blessing of the Lord in your life. That blessing I have in my little margin here, <clears throat> I have the word empowered. Ooh. It empowered him to prosper in any situation. It empowered situation. him, yes. Isn't that good? Any situation. The blessing was working mm -hmm. in his life. He was at the right place at the right time, doing the right thing, he was exactly where God Lord wanted him to be. blessed him. He said, blessed him right there. And it empowered him to prosper, regardless of what was going on. Isn't that awesome? And not only that, Gloria, God wanted that whole area to In change. In famine, he prospered. He wanted, he wanted that famine over with, yeah. and he needed somebody right All in the middle of it. All he needed was somebody that do what he said. And he obeyed. needs us. That's right. Here, I'm getting emphatic about but this. But we now. need him. He, we, <laughs> we need him. But he needs yeah. us here right now in faith, believing God in the middle of all that's the right. stuff that's going on. We're not running and hiding. We are letting our light shine. Amen. And in the middle of whatever it is, if it's a financial difficulty in this nation, if it's, if it's Ebola or, or ISIS or whatever it is, God needs a people right here and right now who are strong and bold and bold to lay hold am, of Lord. what belongs to them and will take their stand of protection. Yeah, and I are. believe, I believe that us being here right now is key. The church is key because I believe there's going to be a time based on the word that Kenneth gave in 2010 mm -hmm. about the serious times that were coming, I believe the church needs to rise up and yeah. be the place of refuge uh, yeah, for people to right. run to mm -hmm. and learn how to stand in faith, learn how to believe God, and learn how to live above and not beneath. Amen. Okay. And who know who who can be taught how to sow in times of famine, just yeah, like debt Isaac free did. People. Debt free people. And a people, I'm getting excited now. Get it. Go ahead, George. And a people who will receive the end time wealth transfer. I volunteer. <laughs> I choose Hallelujah. you. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And Isaac sowed in famine. And this is the interesting thing about Isaac sowing at that time. It's famine. Yeah. It's dry. Uh -huh. And normally... You sow seed, you know, and, and you'd think, well, it's famine. Bitter. I word up my you seed. You better hoard better up your keep seed. The seed. That's oh, one of the natural no, things. No, 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 no. No, that's not right. God it's told him to sow in that land. It looked impossible. And this is something that you and I talked about the other day. We talked about the difference between revelation and information. Mm -hmm. Information says you don't sow in uh -huh, the time that's of famine. Good to bring up. Revelation says sow and you'll reap a hundredfold. That's right. That's good, George. And I that's like what that. Isaac did. He sowed, he reaped the hundredfold. And in normal times, I did research on this, in normal times, the, the yield of Gerar was only 25 to 50. Uh, um, Bush, whatever it was, bushels or what? Fold. Fold. 25 fold to fold. 50 okay. fold. That was high. That was a high yield for that area. This is a hundredfold in famine. So that doubled. He doubled it. He famine. doubled it <laughs> in the... <laughs> He doubled the, double. the norm in, the, fam in he famine. He doubled the norm in famine. Glory. That's what we do. That's awesome. We double the Hallelujah. norm 
in famine. Glory to God. Thank it doesn't God. matter what's going on around us. And Isaac is a great example. And it says, and the man waxed great. Mm -hmm. He went forward and he grew until he became very great. That's right. And he had possession of flocks and herds and a great store of servants and the Philistines envied him. Yep. He became, and I like this, Kenneth, Kenneth brought this out. He became the world's richest man. Praise God. And he changed the complexion of that whole area. Let me just read a couple of I, notes because I don't know where we are in our time here. We've got We're, six minutes. We've got, okay, <laughs> six minutes. Okay. Um, I just thought, boy, this is going on and... We're having a good time. George and I are enjoying ourselves <laughs> today. It's the, uh, on page two of your notes there, Gloria, just as we wrap this up, um, he became a rich man in the middle of a famine mm -hmm. and his wealth continued to grow. It says he waxed great. In the Hebrew, that means he increased, he advanced, he was promoted, became very large and ex ex exceeded and he towered. That's a description of us. In the middle of all this that's going on around us, we are increasing. We are. Say, I am increasing. I am increasing. I am advancing. I'm advancing. I'm I am towering. I'm towering. That's what it says because in the Hebrew. Because of the blessing that's on us. And Hallelujah. it said this, Gloria, he waxed, in the King James, it says, he waxed great and went forward. And when I, and, it said, and he grew until he became very great. Now, I looked up the word very great in the Hebrew and it means speedily, quickly, rapidly. Oh, good. It happened fast. See, this, this scripture right fast. here, we've talked a little bit about it, I think, but the blessing, the blessing mm -hmm. of the Lord, it makes rich. Yes. And yep. he adds no sorrow to it. That's right. So it's rich. And everything's good. Yeah, everything Lord. is what good. What is that? That's the blessing of the Lord. That is the blessing. Now, this blessing is big. I mean, it is huge. Not just blessing, and not just uh, money, is. but health and peace. And you can have a lot of money and no peace, and you're still not anywhere. It was massive. But it's, it's massive. all of it. The blessing of the Lord, it makes rich, no sorrow. In spite of what was going on, and in spite of what they were doing to him, they kept filling in his, his wells. He'd dig a well, yeah. they'd fill it in. He'd yeah. dig a well, they'd fill it in. But he just kept going. He, he didn't did. care. He didn't care what the media said. No. He didn't care what the, the critics were saying. He they didn't were read the Wall Street treating Journal. him wrong, treating him badly. He just kept flourishing and growing. And I remember this now. He kept Kenneth, Kenneth on the said word. that. What's that? He kept acting he on kept the word. He kept acting of God. on the word. And I remember what Kenneth said in Branson that year. He said he became the richest man in the world and his house was bigger than Abimelech's palace. Praise That's God. what got them so mad. Oh, you know it did. That's what got them so hot over him because he was hiring a great number. It says here he had, a pos he had the possession of flocks, possession of herds, a great store of servants. My and gosh. the Philistines envied him. So his... Isaac Incorporated was growing massively because of the blessing. And he was changing, he was changing the surrounding area. Let me read this, Gloria. I, I pulled this, this is a copy that I made of Brother Copeland's book on the blessing. Okay. You need to get this book. You need to get this book. We'll put the information up there for you. But the blessing, the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and he adds no sorrow to it. And you just need to read that book. I've read it several times now. And here's a page from it that I copied. And listen to what Brother Copeland says about the blessing. The blessing will produce the conditions of the Garden of Eden mm -hmm. around us yeah, it will. as surely as it did for the Israelites in the Promised Land. In fact, it will do more for us than it did for them because we carry the blessing inside us wherever we go. Oh, Isaac carried the blessing with him in the wherever midst of famine. We can, we, can, we can get on an airplane and carry the blessing with That's us right. and prevent some terrorists from trying to run it into a building. We can, we can claim that airplane for the gospel and walk and create the Garden of Eden on a commercial airline. Okay. We, can do, we that. can do that. It says we carry the blessing inside us everywhere we go. God can send us to the hardest, thistle-growing, demon-infested place, and we can go with joy. 
We don't have to argue with him about it. We don't have to complain or drag our feet. Isaac didn't complain. He went into that same condition. He said, we can go in faith knowing that God is sending us there not to live in squalor, but to release the blessing that's within us and turn that dark corner of the world into a milk and honey kind of place. Oh, Brother Copeland, you're not being practical. There's some places the blessing won't work. Are you kidding me? Oh, my. Are you kidding me? What page is this? This this page, this page, I can't read it. Anyway, it's page something. In in which book? In the the blessing. blessing. (laughs) I got to look that up. Anyway, it says, he said, oh, Brother Copeland, you're not being practical. There's some places the blessing won't work. If there are, I've never seen them. And I've been to a lot of places. I've seen the blessing work everywhere from the wilds of Africa to the urban jungles of America. And I'm just impromptu to say this to you right now. You're thinking in in your mind, you're thinking, we just need to move from here. We need to move from here. No, you need to obey God. And if he tells you to stay, then your blessing is going to be right there with you. Mm -hmm. If he tells you wherever he tells you to be, that's where the blessing is going to be in the same way that he told Isaac to stay right here in the famine instead of going to Egypt. Don't go to Egypt. Stay right here. And he changed the entire complexion of Israel. And if you want to walk in the blessing, you have to as somebody said, grow where you're planted. You have to go to the right place or if you're in the right place, stay there. In other words, you have to obey God. He knows where your blessing is and if you'll spend time with Him and in His Word, He'll tell you where it is. He'll tell you if you need to go somewhere, He'll tell you. If you need to stay put, He'll tell you. Gloria, I know we're out of time, but I'm just prompted to do this right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over people who are are seeking you about what they are to do. Transitions. Transitions in their lives. Show them what they are supposed to do. Show them if they're to stay, Mm -hmm. if they're to go, if they're to move, or they're to be right there where they are right now. Because wherever obedience is, that is where the blessing will be. Father, I thank you for showing it. And we believe that we receive that perfect direction. Oh, thank you in for the Jesus word. Name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, George. You preach me happy. George and I'll be right back. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.